My name is Lucy from Lucy's Sew Studio. It's lovely to be back in the studio. I feel like I haven't had a lot of opportunity to come up here of late. All the normal reasons that we're all aware of. Um, homeschooling seems to really take up so much time and energy and I feel like I'm just trying to put my all into it because I just don't want them to fall behind. So um, I'm not getting a lot of time to sew and do other things. But not only that, I've also been launching my um, sewing academy, my next round of that, which is starting very soon or which has started as such. Um, so I'm really excited about that as well. So that's took a lot of my time up and just motivation really. I don't know how you guys are feeling. Um, I hope everyone is well, but I have been lacking a little bit of motivation to come up and sew for myself. So I am here today. I'm very excited. I put makeup on and everything. Um, yeah, feeling good today. And the sun is shining. I think that really helps as well. So I'm coming on today for this little vlog. And this is a vlog that I should have recorded back in December. I joined an Instagram challenge called Swap, Share and Sew. Um, and that challenge, I think it's like the second or third year, maybe more, that it's run. This is the first year that I took part. And the challenge is hosted by Jane from Loopy Maple's Closet and by Rosie from Rosie Sews Modern Vintage. So go and check out their YouTube channels as well if you haven't already. I will pop their links in the comments below. Um, so basically how the challenge works is it runs from like um, November time, November, December. We lengthened the time this, this time around, which was really helpful for me. Um, because of everything going on and stuff and people were not getting quite finished but basically you have a period of time you get teamed up with somebody else another instagram sewer vlogger um and together you come up with a pattern it could be different patterns and you have to send each other a little package so that's the swap bit the share and swap bit and in that little package you've got some pocket linings that you've cut from your own fabrics You've got some other sort of notions and ribbons, buttons, anything else that you think they might be able to add to their garment that they're making. And the challenge is to make your pattern that you've decided on and try and add as many of the things that they've sent you as you can. So it's really good fun. It's the first time I've done it. And to be honest, it was a bit of a challenge because that time of year for me anyway is quite busy because I have an Etsy shop. So Christmas time is quite busy anyway. But I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do it. And I've been wanting to make the lander pants for so long. They've been on my to make list forever. Um, I bought some fabric from Pound Fabrics ages ago last year or even maybe the end of the year before for like two pounds a meter or something. Well, it might have been three pounds a meter, I think, actually. And it was a slightly stretched denim. So it, it, I bought three meters and I thought that would be perfect to trial up a pair of jeans or fitted trousers because obviously it didn't cost me a lot. So I'm not going to you know waste my money if it doesn't turn out right or the fitting's not right. So I bought it for it with that in mind and it's been in my stash for ages. So I thought, do you know what I'm going to do it? I'm going to join the challenge. And then also I will sort of get connected with some other sewists on Instagram and things, which is always really nice to make meet some new sewing buddies and friends. And I got teamed up with Karen from So Little Time. She is so lovely. I was chuffed to be paired up with her. She does some lovely makes on her Instagram channel. So again, go and visit her if you haven't already. So I was really thrilled to be um, teamed up with her. And hopefully, I think she was likewise too being teamed up with me. And we decided because I knew how terrible I would be at getting this finished and sewing for myself in that busy time. So we arranged to have a live sewing session where we would sew together and make our or start or make a start on our garments together online, which, yeah, was fantastic. It was lovely to meet her and speak to her on Zoom um, and do some sewing together. So that was really lovely. So thank you, Karen, for joining me on that as well. Um, and let me have a little glimpse of, you know, your little sewing station and things. That was really cool. So we did really well. Karen obviously finished hers and uploaded her blog in plenty of time. And like always with myself, um, I managed to finish my trousers, which I was so chuffed with in the timescale. So these were finished at the end of December. 
but I did not manage to record the vlog. I was just exhausted by that time. Christmas suddenly appeared and then, well, the rest is history. So I decided to make for my project the lander pants. Um, now I'd seen loads of versions of this on Instagram and I just thought they looked so cool. I love the style of them. So they're that sort of funky, what era is that? Like 70s maybe? Um, and they've got really big pockets in the front, which is really cool. Really lovely high waist, which I like. Now I'm in my 40s. I feel like I need to have a bit more coverage on my tummy. And they've got two lengths or three lengths. In fact, you could do the shorts, but you could do a long length jeans, a full length jean, or you can do the cut off like ankle jeans, which are all the fashion at the moment. So I thought, amazing. They, they look fab on other people. So I thought I will use my denim fabric that I bought from Pound Fabrics to make up a toile of these and see how they go. And if they don't turn out right, I haven't spent loads of money on the fabric and it won't be a loss. Um, and because they use quite a lot of fabric, so it's really wide leg, I could probably, you know, cut them back up and remake them or, or have a play around with them. But they turn out really amazing. Um, super, super chuffed with them. And I'm really pleased I actually used a denim with a slight stretching because the pattern doesn't recommend doing that. But I just thought it would give me a little bit of give um, if the pattern doesn't fit quite right. So I can probably make them a little bit tighter rather than looser because the stretch will give me that, that bit of give. I also, so I ordered the um, PDF pattern of this, downloaded and printed it all off, which I'd done yolks ago. And I also ordered or purchased the extension packet um, for this as well. So on the standard pattern instructions, it's got a button fly, but I wanted to do a zip fly. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted to make them as snug as I can because I really like wearing tight jeans. I like tight fitting jeans. It just makes me feel more comfortable randomly. Um, so I felt that if I had a zip fly, I just feel like you can sort of, that you won't get any gape or anything because I like them a bit tighter. So I um, purchased the extension pack, which gives you the pattern pieces and the instructions to turn this button fly into a zipper fly. So, let me give you a little show of them and I will try them on for you as well. Let me move back and see if I can show you the full view of them. So this is how my um, lander pants have turned out. I am really chuffed with them. They fitted really well. I made a few adjustments um, and I sort of read a few reviews on Instagram of other people that have made them. You can follow the hashtag for Lands of Pants. There's loads of examples, um, people that have made these. So I had a sort of have a, had a little look through to see what adjustments other people have made. And what I done is I sized myself from the finished garment, which actually on the pattern, you've got a really big seam allowance which is really handy. When I was sewing it, I thought, oh, I'm wasting like loads of fabric. The seam allowance is really big down the leg seams, but actually it's really good because it just gives you that extra space and fabric to take the trousers in or out should you need to. So I did a, um, a temporary side seam with a slightly longer stitch on my first lot so that if I needed to adjust it, I could do it, and I did. But I'm super chuffed. Let me give you a slight close up. So on the front of the trousers, they've got these lovely big pockets. Um, you've got a fixed waistband at the top. I obviously changed this fly front and made it into a zipper. And you've got a little button um, at the top there as well. And then on the back, you've got pockets also, just two little square pockets. And I've also seen versions where people have not added the pockets, either front or back or vice versa. And they look really lovely as well. Um, I'm really pleased that I did the zipper front on these particular ones. I think for me, I just feel more comfortable with a zipper. But I think if I maybe make the shorts in the summer, um, I might make the button fly. That would look really cute. And then I cut them full at length. And it's got a massive hem on these. And I've kept the full length of fabric in case I change my mind. But when I tried them on, I folded them up and I actually felt like I quite liked the shorter length. I wasn't sure if it was going to suit me, but in the end, after making them, I felt that, yeah, I did like it. So I've kept to the full length fabric. I've just folded up a big double hem and then I stitched sort of a quite a high um, stitch line around that bottom hem of the trousers. 
sit back down so you can see me. So I'm super pleased how they came out. Um, I love the front pocket. It's a nice big deep front pocket. And I, like, I really like the back pockets as well. I think if I made the shorts version, I probably wouldn't put the front pockets on. So I think it would be too much in a, in a pair of shorts maybe. Um, and definitely if I made them again, I would make them in a lighter fabric. So lighter in colour and also lighter weight. Um, so they're really nice in denim, but I feel like they're a little bit stiff. And where they're quite wide leg, in this stiffer fabric, the leg stays really wide when you're wearing Very it. cute. And I really like how where you've got the front pocket here, the big pocket, it feels like you've got a pin tuck down here. So it gives a really nice um, sort of design feature on the front. I think that's really sweet. And you've got little darts here at the back that's sort of behind those back pockets there. So it really helps with the shaping of your bottom as well. Um, they fit lovely around the crutch. I was a bit worried because when I've made trousers before, I needed to lengthen the crutch um, slightly. Um, but I think where these have got quite a high waist, it fitted really well, so I was really pleased with that. And down the side of the trousers, the side seams, they suggest you do really big seam allowance. The seam allowance is, I can't remember what it is now, but I remember when I sewed it, I thought crumbs, there's like loads of fabric here. I've got like, the seam allowance is really big and I felt like I was wasting loads of fabric. But actually, what's the seam allowance? Let me look. Oh yeah, one inch seam allowance down the side. Um, so yeah, it feels feels like you you know you're losing loads of fabric, but actually you know you need that so, so that you've got the fabric there to adjust should you need to. And I and I did. I took them in slightly around the hip area. So I took them in from about here. Um, I just graded in up to the waistband um, slightly to hug my hips a little bit more. I haven't done anything with the leg width, but I think potentially if I made another pair out of a sort of a quite structured fabric like this, I would make the legs slightly narrower um, so they're not quite so wide. But if I make these again out of a lighter woven fabric, maybe like a linen, I think the wider leg will be fine because it will just hang differently. So I really like the zip fly. I didn't have a zip because obviously the pattern was for buttons and I decided last minute, once I cut, cut it all out, to then purchase the zipper fly um, extension pack. So I just found this little navy one, which I thought is fine. My little button's hanging off, I need to re-sew that on. Um, so that was fine and luckily I had one in my stash that was the right length. So I've just got that and you can't see it anyway. So that was, yeah, pretty straightforward to apply. I hadn't done a zipper fly before like this. So it was a first time, but actually it was fine. The instructions are really lovely in the pattern. They're, they're nice and easy to follow along to. A couple of times I had to sort of read it and reread it a, a few times, but like with anything, when you do it for a first time, that tends to be the case. Um, I admitted the, the belt loops because they're quite high-waisted and I thought I probably won't wear a belt with these, so I didn't add them on. And plus, because the fabric already felt quite... Um, structured and a little bit stiff I didn't want to add anything else to it that was going to make it even more structured around that top bit so I didn't add those on but they are quite straightforward to do if you need to um, it's obviously got a little buttonhole up here which again was nice and easy I just need to look it's terrible oh there's my button that's come off I, I sewed it on um, temporarily just to get a picture um, yeah i need to move it across a little bit because this is one of the things i use that karen sent me a lovely parcel of all gorgeous goodies one of my favorite things she sent me in fact she made me this lovely little um needle pouch which i love and i am using and i've i've added oh let's take that needle out i've added some little um writing to it that says regular well reg for regular so that would be my regular machine needles and I've got a jersey in the background to put my jersey needles so I don't get mixed up and then I've just got normal sewing needles and pins in the middle so thank you Karen I love that so she sent me she sent me that in my little parcel she also sent me some spotty fabric which I've included in my trousers I made my own little button um because that's a shank 
back button. I just need to move it along slightly on my trousers because it obviously isn't quite isn't fixed to the trousers quite so close so when I wear them it pulls a little bit so I just need to move that across a little bit um and the spotty fabric that she sent me was this one here which I've put on my button I've added that onto the inside of my front pockets and also my reverse pockets my back pockets so that was really cute and she sent me a little such a cute little sewing label saying um made with blood sweat and tears so I've put that in the front there behind my button. Um, so when I put them on, I can remember, um, yeah, making them. Let me put them on for you and give you a 12. So it's so hard to get a, a good view of trousers on video, but hopefully you can see from these. But yes, I'm pretty pleased with the fit, especially for the first one. Um, yeah, so all I adjusted on these is I took half an inch off of both of these sides from the waistband down to about sort of here. Um, I could probably just grade in slightly more here. There's a bit of a, a lump there where I need to iron the seam allowance the right way. Um, and yeah, I, I really, really, really like them. I think the length is really funky. You could wear these with a cool little pair of trainers. Um, I could wear my Converse high tops under them. The waist actually fits really nicely at the back. There's a little bit of a dip there. Let me sit down and see my face while I'm talking. So, as you can see, I'm really pleased with how my Lander pants turned out for my first time. Definitely gonna be making another pair. And in fact, in my stash, I have got some of this really gorgeous pinstripe gray linen fabric, which could make potentially a really gorgeous summer pair. What do you think? Let me know if you think that would be a good idea. Um, or I've also got this gorgeous linen as well, which I've had a little while in my sash. It's so soft. These are from Oh So. Um, they were bought last summer, so they may still have them in stock. I haven't double checked. So again, potentially would make a really gorgeous pair of linen ones. So we'll see. So that may be on my list of making for the summer. I'll try and keep this tidy now I've tidied it up. Um, yeah, so overall, really, really pleased. The only other little thing I want to add to these that Karen sent me, let me just grab them for you. She also sent me in my little package these really cute little iron-on, I think they're iron-on, um, broidered bees. And I really fancy adding a little bee, like just poking out of my pocket. Um, I think that would look really, really cute. Um, or even just popping out one of my back pockets, maybe. Just hidden in there so I know he's there when I put something in my pocket. So I'd really like to add a little bee somewhere on my trousers as well. Um, so yeah, look how cute they are. So cute. Um, so that's, I want to add that on as well. But yeah, really lovely pattern to follow. These used, I have three metres of this fabric and I've probably used about, oh crumbs, I can't remember. I may have to put in the comments. I think just under two metres to make these all in. Um, which I was really pleased with. I didn't use as much fabric as I thought it would because obviously the length is quite long and they are quite wide, um, you know, much wider than your average trouser. So I didn't use quite as much fabric as I thought I would. But the pattern says, let's have a little quick look. The pattern says, so I sewed a size four on here. Um, and according to my measurements, that was four on the finished measurements I went on. And it was kind of midway. My um, waist and hip sort of fell either side. So I just went in the middle because I thought I've got a bit of stretch. Um, and I knew that that leg seam allowance was really big. So it gave me a bit of leeway. So I went with a four and I took the, like I said, the hip to waist I graded that in about half an inch either side. So I'd probably do a four again, to be fair, and just grade it back in again, just to make sure that, you know, I've got that leeway. And I suppose different fabrics could, you know, fit slightly different as well. 
So I went with a four and a four recommended for view C. Yeah, so it said two and a half metres, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I got that into two metres. Obviously the pocket inners, I, I used a different fabric and I didn't do the belt loops, but yeah, I think I done really well um, on getting this in the fabric. I mean, it didn't have any pattern that needed to go the right way round and it didn't have any pattern matching. So that really helps. So then you can use the fabric much more economically when you're cutting. But yeah, overall consensus, a big thumbs up. I love these trousers. I love the pattern. I'm definitely going to be making some more. I may even book in another little session with Karen to help spur me on to make another pair because that really helped, by the way. If you get the chance to sew live with a sewing buddy on Zoom or webinar or whatever, or even just on Skype, um, definitely do it. It's so lovely. You get to chat. You get to sort of uh, exchange ideas and show each other what you're doing. It really helps sort of motivate and you know sewing can be quite lonely so it's really nice to catch up with some sewing buddies as well so big thumbs up to the land of pants if you're wondering whether you should have a try at making some trousers i reckon you should give them a go definitely if you want to go a bit easier you know omit some of the bits and maybe don't add the pockets and things for your first try um but yeah definitely give them a go see how you go use that big seam allowance to start with and try it on before you add the waistband and see how it fits. I just need to get out and wear these now, put my button back on would be a good start, wouldn't it? Um, and then get out and show these off to the world. So I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Sorry it took me like two months to upload. And thank you so much, Karen, for sewing with me and joining in with the swap share so i had loads of fun thank you for the hosts for organizing and i'm definitely going to be signing up for next year as well so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this little pattern review and i hope you love my lander pants and i can't wait to share the next lot with you see you all again soon bye